Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're doing a review of my heavy duty tripod from Fancier Studio. Now, Fancier Studio is not a sponsor of the channel, but I think of them as a friend of the channel, not because they lend anything, which they do not, but because I use their equipment a lot. In addition to this tripod that we're going to talk about today, a lot of my shoulder rigs and some of my other equipment does come from Fancier Studio. Now, um, I can't tell you a lot about them because they are an overseas manufacturer, but what I will say is at a budget price, they produce some of the most robust overall accessory equipment that I've ever seen and that I use. I really like them and I like newer a lot. Both of these companies have done right by me and I really like their equipment. Now, when I need a heavy duty tripod to be able to do some things that you'll be seeing in the near future, uh, especially the shoots I do for film stuff with Malcolm and Kyle, this is the tripod that I use. This is the outdoor tripod that I use the most to protect my gear because of the weight and the fact that I know it's not gonna tilt over and it's gonna be super steady. So that's great. This has a fluid rotating uh, video pan head. So I really like that. And I like that everything just locks in. The build quality on this is amazing. And if you recall, my build quality test basically comes down to stopping power, the ability of this thing to inflict bodily harm and damage. And in this case, it's tremendous. It's gonna get a five out of five stars on that uh, because this thing is considerable. If I drop this on my foot, we have a problem. So uh, this is really good. I love how fluid the pan head is. I love that everything breaks down really easily and great to use. This is a um, bowl head. So there's a lot you can do with that in terms of making sure that everything is level. I love that. And it's just a great overall tripod. The one thing I will say is you will probably want to get your own um, quick release plate to put on the mount here because if you use this one directly with the camera, you will need to use a screwdriver to get it on and off. So it's just better to go ahead and put a quick release plate on top of here and then just be able to snap that on and off really easily. I'm actually gonna be ordering one of those soon. I'll probably leave a link in the description below so you can do that as well. But yeah, this is a great overall tripod. I love it. Uh, it came with a great bag and this is like just so easy to use and I'm really a fan of it. I love how the legs, I can just turn this and I can snap them in and out. I can see when they're in place. And this is just a fantastic overall tripod. I would say it's comparable to Manfrotto stuff that I've used in the 300 or $400 price range. This tripod is only $129. So it is a steal for what you are getting and I couldn't recommend it more. Now, I still use my Dalika tripods. I actually use two Dalika tripods. I use those primarily with my Immorden slider now or when I need to take one of them for a travel tripod. I'm probably gonna be trying out some other stuff. I'm probably gonna grab a travel tripod from Mifoto or Enduro. So look forward to that review in the future. Anyway, this is a great overall tripod if you're looking for something that can be a little more robust and you need it on budget. You need it to be something that is durable, um, is weighty, and will get the job done. I couldn't recommend a better product for you for the price range that we're talking about. Anyway, if you have questions, leave those in the comment section. In the links below in the description, I will have some recommendations on tripods for you for any budget, and hopefully that will help you out. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.